Hey guys, this is Zaman and welcome back to another fresh new video of PowerPoint School. In this video, I will show you how to make this animation in just PowerPoint. Before starting out today's tutorial, let me tell you that as my health was not going well from last few weeks, I was not being able to upload new videos. But from now on, I will upload regular interesting and much more attractive videos. And I want to thank you because recently we have completed 300,000 subscribers and that is really a great achievement for our PowerPoint school family. So without wasting any further time, let's start our today's tutorial. Here I have already taken a blank slide. So from here under the basic shapes, I'll pick this one, drag it over here. To resize this shape, go to format. From this corner, we can adjust the number. I'll set it 0.45 inch and this one 4.5 inch. Then drag this yellow dot to the right a bit after doing so, click on this small arrow which is actually the format shape option. Go to line. From here, we need to increase the width uh, 8 point. Set cap type and join type round. Close it. Go to shape fill. From here, I'll pick this color. From shape outline, pick the same color. Press Ctrl D to duplicate. From shape fill, Set a different color for the new shape. From shape outline, pick the same color. Now to resize it, from this corner, I'll set 0.7 inch and 1 inch. Now we can place it over here. Now what I'll do, pick a text box, drag it over this shape. Here you can add some text. Selecting all the text, I'll change the font to TWC and empty. Make it bold, italic. Change the font size 24 point. Make it white and center. Place it over here in the middle. Now I'll select all these objects. Holding Ctrl Shift, drag it to down and it will be duplicated. Now we need to change the position of these two object. At first, I'll select this text box and holding the shift key, place it to the left, select this one and place it to the right. After that, again, we need to select all these objects from our previous block, holding Ctrl shift, drag them to down and it will be duplicated. Now we have to add some icons. So go to insert, click on picture. Here I have already downloaded few icons from flaticon.com. So I'll insert these three icons. For a while, I will place these icons over here and one by one I will place this icon over this small rectangle. After placing all these icons over these small rectangles, we need to select these two and press Ctrl G to group. Select these two, press Ctrl G to group and do the same for the last one. Just select these two, press Ctrl G to group. So we are done with creating all the necessary objects. Now we can go for the animation part. Go to animation, click on animation pane. From here, we can look over animation status. To add the animation on this first group of object, from add animation, under motion paths, I will select lines. To change the direction from effect option, I will select to right. Click on this small arrow, holding the shift key, drag this red dot to the left. Keep this on click duration one second. Click on this drop down arrow, go to effect option, from here increase the smooth end and press OK. Now we need to select this text box to add the animation, from here under motion paths, select lines. To change the direction of the animation, from effect option, select left. Click on this arrow, holding the shift key, drag this red dot to right. Then set the duration one second and start with previous. Click on this drop down arrow from effect option, increase the smooth end and press OK. Here we have added all the necessary animations on the first block. Now we need to animate this one. Select this object from add animation, do the same. From motion paths, select line. From effect option, select to left. Click on this arrow. Holding this red dot, drag it to right. Keep this on click duration one second. Click on this drop down arrow from effect option. Increase the smooth end. 
Press OK. Select this text box. Do the same from Add Animation. Select Lines. To change the direction from Effect option, select Right. Click on this arrow. Holding the Shift key, drag this red dot to the left and place it in this way. Set Start with Previous Duration 1 second. Click on this drop down arrow from Effect option. Increase the Smooth End and press OK. So we have added the animation on second block also. Now what we can do, we can copy the animations from our first block and we can paste it on the third one. So to copy, select this one, click on Animation Painter to copy and paste it on this object. To copy the animation of this text box, select it first, click on Animation Painter to copy and paste it over here. So we have added all the animations, now press Ctrl A to select all of these, holding Ctrl Shift to drag them to right and it will be duplicated. Here you can see that all the objects have been duplicated with the animations, so you need not to add animations again. Now you can select all of them and place them in the middle of our slide. Now from our previous slide, I will just copy this upper portion, press Ctrl C to copy and press Ctrl V to paste. Now if you start the slideshow, you can see all the animations are working as expected. Here the animations are appearing one after another, but if you want to have all the animations in the same time, what you need to do, I'll show it now. At first, let's duplicate this current slide. Right click on it and click on duplicate slide. From here, what we need to do, we will keep the first block animations as it is, but from the second block, I will change the start on click to start with previous. This is very simple, you just need to select all the on-click animations and turn it into start with previous. And after changing all these settings, if you start the slideshow, you can see all the animations are appearing at the same time. Lastly, to have this type of animations, we need to do few more changes. Let's see what are those. At first, we need to duplicate the current slide and then what I'll do, I'll just select all these three and delete these. Now select all of them and place them here in the middle of our slide. From the animation pane, I will just delete all the current animations and then I will select this group of object. I will do the same thing from add animation, from motion parts, I will select lines. To change the direction, I will set it to right. Holding the shift key from your keyboard, drag this red dot to the left. Set the time, one second. Select this text box, holding the shift key, place it outside the rectangle. From add animation, select lines. From effect option, select left. Now what we need to do, click on this red arrow, holding the shift key, drag it to left. Set start with previous, duration one second. And we are done with our today's tutorial. If you start the slideshow, you can see every animation is working as expected. If you want to download this template, I'll provide the download link in the description below. So to end this video, I want to thank you for supporting our work as always. If you are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe, press the bell icon to get time to time notifications from this channel, like and share this video. See you in the next one. Thanks for watching.